What's up all my Pyratus crew? Today's video is about a neat little gadget that a lot of you young people will have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, this, neat, this neat little gadget comes out in a lot of the old cars. I say old cars. I've owned a, I've owned a few old Mustangs. 67, 68 Mustangs. Those had it. Uh, some of the Chevrolet trucks I've had, they've had it. And this gadget has also been a topic on a couple of um, Facebook groups about ways to quickly turn on, turn off your... Um, LED bars. So, yeah, okay, I turned on, turn off LED bars. Is that a clue? Yeah, it has something to do with the switch. Ta da! Old school dimmer switch. You younger crew's gonna like, what's that gadget thing? Well, back in the day, the older cars and stuff, instead of having your dimmer switch on the stock, like right there behind your steering when you pull the little lever, this was your dimmer switch. It's mounted down the floorboard by your left foot up next to the left part of the firewall. I like them. I actually like these better than I do the dimmer switches that's in the column. They last longer, much more rugged, they handle, they handle more power. All the old Mustangs and stuff I've had, uh, my charger, I had a Dodge charger one time. It went out, but there was such a simple fix. Three wires, two screws, done. Super cheap. So what are we gonna do with it today? The topic on the Facebook groups was a quick way to turn on and off LED bars. If this is the first time you've landed on Power Addict's YouTube channel, you might want to hit that subscribe button because I've got Jeep videos, car videos, motorcycle videos, tool videos, you really never know, and cool electrical gadget videos. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. All right. Let's show you how this thing works. All right, let's see what this old school dimmer switch does. Center post. It's going to be your battery or hot or whatever, whatever power source you got coming for it. This will be a dim side or this will be a dim side. Or basically what happens is the power comes in from here. Whenever you click it, it switches power to this side. Click it again, it switches power to this side. So hot wire goes in and the, each time here it click, each time that click it switches it from one post to another. So you can actually set it up to power like your LED bars for your, on your over above your windshield, on your hood, or on your bumper, wherever it is you want to put them, it's totally up to you. Um, if you just hook up one side, it becomes an on and off switch. Click, it might turn this one on. Click, turn this one off, or however it's positioned inside here. Now, we'll hook up some electric here in a moment, we'll test it out. Or, if you got one set of uh, lights that you want, like down your bumper, whenever you hit the switch, it switches from your bumper to your hood, this one can go on your bumper, this one can be your hood powered. You know, you switch it back and forth, which we'll show you here in just a moment. So, get you a good close up right there. Three post, battery goes here, and your accessories go here, and it switches back and forth between the two. All right, let's hook this thing up and see what we can do. I've got my little power strip going on over here. I've got my little power adapter, no more batteries. I actually upgraded my rig here. Here is the 12 volt in. It goes right there on the center post. Then we're going to take this, which is actually the little yellow strip inside this right here. We're not going to use the super bright ones in this uh, light right here because it just totally freaks the camera out. So, uh, that was turned on. Click it. Now it's turned off. So, we're going to hook it on this side right here. Again, here's where the battery side would go into, and here's where my accessory or my light here is hooked in. It's turned off right now. But if I push this, voila, turns on the, the uh, yellow light there. If we push again, turn it off. Very, very, very simple switches. Now, watch this. We'll take this one, hook it to this side. Now, remember what I said a moment ago. Since this one right here is now turned off, this light, this one turned off, this one should be turned or should be uh, powered up. What do you know? See, we got this LEDs turned on now. Click. Turn this one on. This one goes off. Flashy. Pretty cool, huh? Told you. Very simple little switches. And you see, uh, here is where your battery goes in. Each one of your accessories go here. 
you can hook, like I said, you can hook up one side and it turns into an on and off switch, or you hook up both sides, hook up a uh, light on this side, a light on this side, and flip them back and forth. Can be used not only for lighting, but you can probably you know, just whatever your imagination wants to be. You mount this down your floorboard, step on a switch, power it on and off. You see right here, we got two uh, screw holes here. So what you do is down your floorboard, screw this in, screw this in, take your foot, step on it to toggle your lights back and forth. Pretty easy setup. I'm not exactly sure what the power ratings are on these things. I'm safe to assume they're pretty, uh, they're pretty strong because I mean this right here dates back in the. Uh, I hate because they go back. I ain't sure how far they go back, and I've had several um, old Mustangs, old Mustangs uh, 67, 68s, and these had them in there. So uh, I'm sure they go back way into the early 60s. I'm not sure how far these switches go back, but if you want one just like this right here. Just walk up to the parts counter, or I'll tell you what, I'll put a link down in the description for an Amazon purchase. You guys can check it out. But for 67 Mustang, and that's what this switch right here is for. So, all right, let's wire up, let's wire up a relay. Now, instead of just uh, wiring up a relay, I said, look, now let's do it on a relay. I'm going to show you guys how to wire the relay up. And if you want more relay videos, down in the description, I'll put a link to where you guys can check out my series of... Um, uh, how to how relays work and how to wire them up in different configurations so I'll put a link down below in the playlist where you guys can check that out so here's what we're gonna do whenever you wire up a relays these two posts right here is always your accessory post okay these are gonna be your trigger posts. triggers meaning turn it on and off what side is gonna be ground this side will be go to your switch okay in this case it's gonna be the switch here what we're gonna use to turn this relay on and off um, this will go to your ground. This will always go to your power source, be your battery or whatever your power source may be. Okay? So, let's wire this baby up. Now I'm going to come over here to my hot side, which will be on the hot side of my battery in this case. The screwdriver doesn't fit my terminals very well. Okay, so now we've got hot side hooked up to the battery, um, to the uh, relay. Now we're going to take this here goes to this LED. We're going to put that up here on this one. Now for right now we're not going to worry about this one because there's a particular reason why. This is a uh, A7A, A7B relay which means whenever the relay is turned off which means the switch you have hooked up here whenever it is turned off. This but this terminal here does not have power, but this one does. So whenever you flip the switch and turn the switch on, it takes the power away from the middle one and puts power to this one. Again, you know, I'll put a link to you guys to check out the videos of how I, I'd give you guys tutorials on how relays work. So this one, we're going to leave it off for the moment. This one goes to the hot post over here, or it did because it fell off. Okay, I've got my, now imagine this wire right here, which I've got wired up to the hot side. Imagine this wire coming from your fuse block that you would put into the switch, okay? So you would put it right there to power, this, get the switch power. Now on the relay, we want to go from, take your wire, go from the 86 post here go to pick your post it doesn't really make it it doesn't make any difference here there then this side we're going to give it a ground uh, apparently the switch is on so let's turn the switch off so now we got this wired into a relay again this wire right here going into the top uh, center post of the switch is going to go to your um, your fuse block or if you want to take it to the battery, tell your call, however you want to do it. But you want to get full time power to the center post up here on this. So I can zoom in a little bit on it for you guys. There we go. Give you guys a little better view. 
Okay, this one is coming from the fuse block, going into the top post here. Then it comes out of the switch to your um, 80, I forgot what number I said, 86 post on your relay. Then you ground this side of your relay, which is your 85 post. Then your LED accessory here, or what, or whatever it is you want to hook up to your call, will be wired. One side goes to your ground, the black wire goes to your ground. This side is going to go to your 87 post up here. So now at this point, we want to turn the circuit on. We simply push the pedal. Boom, we turn on the light. Push it again, boom, turn it off. Now here's what I was talking about this being 87 or 87A type relay. Much like remember what I showed you a moment ago, how this right here worked. Whenever you step on it, and this is mounted into your floorboard, whenever you step on it, this particular post right here is turned off right now, but this one right here has connection. Okay, that's kind of how A7, A7A relays work. Right now, this one has no power to it because I've removed power by the switch. But the center post down here will have power. See that? Now we hit the switch. Flips the relay from one circuit to another. And that's how you can set up low beams, high beams, or turn on or off a particular lights on front, or however you want, whatever you want to use this type of circuit for. It's totally your call. Okay, one more close up. This terminal right here will go to your battery or power source, whatever. These two right here will go to your accessory, whatever you want to turn, turn on, turn off, whatever. Battery, accessories. Really simple switch. So what do you think about it? Pretty neat and it can have a lot of cool uses. Pair it with a relay, you know you've got plenty of power consumption because relays, you can typically are 30 amp relays, but you can get up to like 40 amp relays or even go up to solenoids if you want to. And using that simple switch right there to trigger it with. Nothing on the dash, you mount your floorboard by, by your left foot, take your foot, just get on top of it, step on it right there, click. Turn it on, step on it again, boom, turn it off. Very cool little switch. I'm sure y'all thinking, where's he at? He's not in his Jeep. He's not in the shop. You're right or not. It's coming a monsoon outside. I got water running in the floor of my shop right now, so I thought I'd just chill in the house. It's just a nasty outside. It's been like this all day. So uh, I've had this switch right here laying around. This has been a kind of a topic on a few of the uh, Facebook groups. So Blaine, I know we, uh, we should kind of discuss this a little bit. So here's the video for you, buddy. So if you like that video about that little switch, give me that thumbs up because it's a really cool switch. It'll come to a lot of good uses for you. Questions, comments? Absolutely. Leave them down below. Now, if you got any cool comments about, hey, uh, if you got a particular switch you like to use on, on whatever type of uh, electrical circuit, tell me about it. If it's something I can throw into a video, I'll give you a shout out for giving the idea. So, cool switch. Leave me a cool comment. All right. Sweet. And don't forget to subscribe, because if you subscribe, you get notified of these videos. You never know, you might learn a little something, something, okay? So be sure to hit that subscribe and the thumbs up and leave me a cool comment. Really, totally appreciate it. So everyone, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. And everyone out there in YouTube land, peace out. Later, y'all.